Hi Karen, hi Justine, can you hear me? Hi Barbara, I hope you're okay. Just getting myself organised. Hi Rachel, hope you're okay. Ow, that was my fingers on the desk. <laughs> oh no. Um, yes, you can all hear me, brilliant. Right, I'm just trying to make a bit of room on my desk because I've got all sorts of bits. So what have you all been up to today? while I'm just trying to get myself organised. Right, let me see, I'm missing loads of comments. So I've seen Karen, Justine, Barbara, Rachel, Mikkel, greetings from Sweden. Hi, welcome. Can you hear me, can you hear me? Hi Susan, hope you're okay. Ellen from Yorkshire. Uh, Lisa Davis. Hi Lisa, hope you're okay. Uh, Justine is saying thank you for my stamping up gift, you're welcome. Hi Charmaine, I'm fine thank you, how are you? <laughs> Rachel's saying ouch. I know, that was my fingers on the end of the desk, that's because I'm kind of rushing round on the last minute. <laughs> oh dear. Marcia, good morning. Ellen's saying you're writing cards. Barbara Hart is saying lazy day, start cooking next week. Oh dear. Church and making Xmas cards, Mikkel's saying. Not a lot, bit of laundry and now chilling. Yeah, um, I've just put some laundry in the, t in the dryer and I did pop out for a couple of hours this afternoon. I went down to Stockport to have a look at Hobbycraft, to look at the Easy Press, and they didn't have it. But I've, I've just ordered one online, so I've ordered a bit of a can of kit. I've ordered the, I've gone for the small Easy Press, not the mini. I was, what I've been doing some research. I know we've talked about the Easy Press over the last couple of weeks. I've been doing some research about the Cricut Easy Presses, and I watched, um, oh dear, I can't remember what it's called, but the, it's Tanner and the, the, the channel's his his channel and they reckon that they use the mini for everything irrespective of what size project they're doing even on t-shirts they use that mini one that's about 50 pound in the UK but I'm not sure that I wanted to go that small so what I've done I've gone for the smallest of the three so I think it's the six by seven because in reality I know I'm not going to use it a lot so I didn't see the point in spending like a mega amount of money and the money I am spending was a gift from somebody, um, from my auntie actually, and I didn't want to take it and I told her I wouldn't take it and she, she said no, she wanted me to have it and she wanted me to buy something for myself. So I've gone for the Easy Press, I've bought the um, heat, heat ironing mat thing that goes with it. And then I've bought myself a bit of a starter kit with glitter vinyl. So I'm gonna wait for it all to come then I'll do a little bit of a haul and then I'll tell you where I've got everything from. I want to make sure it all arrives first. <laughs> um, and I know it's all genuine where I've bought it from. I've bought it from online and it's in the UK. And then while I was in Hobbycraft today, literally, for, I was only in there for about 10 minutes. I went straight to look for the machine. They didn't have it. But I did pick up some Riley Blake fabric, Cricut Riley Blake. Blake, that's a mouthful, Cricut Riley Blake fabric, which was on offer. So I'll show everything together when the Easy Press arrives. Right, let me see, I'm missing loads of comments. Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't know how to say that name, the person from Germany. 
is it he he ha, he key? Oh, sorry, I'm rubbish at names. Please forgive me, but you're very welcome. Paul, Paul in France. We're getting really international, aren't we? Been working with vinyl, making a glass block. Like I, Karen, I saw that literally. I've not been in that long, and I think you sent me an invite, which I've accepted, which was literally as I'd got out of the car and I've just not had time to comment, but it looks amazing. Well done, Karen. Hi, Alison, you're on Troll Patrol. Oh, brilliant, bless you, thank you. Rachel's saying sorting my craft cupboard out. Wow, it was a mess. <laughs> I can relate to that. When you start looking and tidying, you find stuff you've forgotten about, don't you? <laughs> um, Anna is saying hello and happy holidays to everybody. Yes, yeah, same to you, Anna. So happy to be here with you. Oh, you're welcome, Anna. Finishing off orb pattern for Facebook. Paul's saying, quite an international group tonight. Mikel's saying, Christine is saying happy Sunday. Philippa Neal is saying hi, Ashley and everyone. Looking forward to this evening. Wanted to do falling for some time. Hello everyone, looking forward to this. I haven't decided whether to purchase yet, that's Patty. Having an easy day today, Alison saying, well, good for you. I wonder if she will use the foiling pens. Justine is saying, I bought the SDX 2200 and thinking of getting vinyl, do I need a new slash different blade? Justine, um, I've covered this before and I think I have covered it in a couple of recent lives. You can use the black top standard auto blade that's with your SDX machine for cutting vinyl, but there is a new vinyl blade now. Hang on. Can you see? Let me get rid of all this stuff and everything. You might be able to see this. So this blue top blade is the vinyl auto blade, and I have to say it is good. Um, so, you know, if... Maybe if you're only just starting off with vinyl, maybe try vinyl with your black top blade. But if you're going to do, you know, if you're going to get into vinyl, I definitely would suggest buying the blue top vinyl blade. It's 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 a different blade altogether. When you take the blade out of this one and look at, look at it against the blade in your other uh, auto blade, they are completely different blades. And I have got a vinyl project coming to my channel over the next couple of weeks. Um, it's something that I've been, I've been making the adhesive samplers, which I'm selling on my website. And I've been giving a free like little vinyl case away that's been embellished with the word adhesive in vinyl. And I, I did a quick video on it the other day while I was cutting some more. So um, I hope that helps Justine. Karen's saying, ha ha. Hope it's packed rightly. Yeah, me too. Um, Thea is saying, hi, Ashley and everyone. Not being here for a couple of weeks. Hope everyone is well. Have the, have the best Christmas that you can have and stay safe. Yes, yeah, same to you. Uh, Karen Lazen, we got the same machine and simple to cut vinyl. Justine saying thank you. Right, okay. So, Justin... I'm not sure if Justin's on here yet. Oh, and I've probably got the damn name wrong. It is Justin, isn't it? Yeah. Justin asked me after last week's live if I would show how to use the foiling kit. Now, I've covered the foiling kit before in a previous Sunday Night Live. So if you go to the YouTube channel and go to the live playlist and look back, you should be able to find the foiling kit but he'd asked if I would cover it again so I think it's always good to have a refresher so I'm going to get out all the bits and pieces that come with the foiling kit and hope that I can remember how to use it so let me find I forgot to get these out so that's what you need for the foiling kit Hi Vicky, hi everyone. I'm working on a card wallet for my mum. It uses an empty tissue box as a base. Wow, that sounds interesting. Let me just put this other lamp on. I'm not sure, I 
seem to be getting shadows. Right, let me just get in position. Don't know if that's got any better or any worse. Let me just see if I can angle my lamp down. Hang on a second, guys. that I'm in now is really really well lit but for some reason it looked a bit dark on the screen right so I think we've said all our highs to everybody I can see there's 40 people on here already so basically let's just go quickly through the foil kit so in the starter kit you get the holder the glue pen and this kind of burnishing tool. You get a couple of these, but I've just grabbed one out. They're both identical. There's no, no difference. They just give you a spare. And then it came from memory with some black and silver foil, which I think there was just one sheet each. This was the, the packaging I think it came in. You can see I've only got a bit of the gold and a little bit of the silver left. So I'm guessing this is about four inches by about maybe seven inches, something like that. And I don't know if you remember at the time, lighting is fine, someone's saying. I can, I've just seen that pop up. That's Patty, thank you. Janet is saying, evening, evening everyone, I hope you are all safe. You all have a safe Christmas, yes, same to you, Janet. Um, so as I say, last time I did the foiling kit, I think I said that I'd been on eBay and I'd just bought some of the um, small sheets of foil. So basically, whatever I try and show you how to do tonight has got to fit on these little foil sheets because that's all I've got. Then your foiling kit also comes with this plastic sheet and it comes with an activation card that you activate in canvas and that um, gives you some designs basically it gives you some like shapes to foil and it gives you some words and some greetings so at lunchtime just before or this afternoon just before i went out i just went quickly into canvas and i just i grabbed a few of the uh, greetings and I sent them over to my machine which has now gone to sleep so if I just go back to the machine and wake it up right let me just see I'm missing comments so Justine saying I'm looking forward to seeing if there is a new year sale on the vinyl foiling kit rhinestone kit that will help cope through the inevitable lockdown oh I know lockdowns are just just becoming a way of life aren't they Mikel is saying not using the we are memory keeper foiling pens I'm hanging on the edge of my seat no I'm not using the we are the we are memory keeper one at all I'm using the foiling kit that is by brother that's specifically for the scan and cut machine so that this is the one with the glue pen not the foil quill pen which i think you have to plug into a usb outlet and that works on heat this is like a cold foil uh, kit if that makes sense michael alison saying our lockdown in wales starts a week tomorrow and it's open-ended yeah i saw that last night alison is it is it boxing day does it start we're we're in tier three where we are in high peak most of my, I think all of my, Greater Manchester is in tier three. Cheshire, which is only maybe a few miles down the road from where we are, is in tier two. It's, London's gone into tier four, haven't they? So they're basically in a, a more strict lockdown than we are. We are. So it's, it's just becoming inevitable, I think. Right, I'm all, I'm on the screen. Yeah, okay, let's get going so I'm going to go to retrieve data I'm going to go to the canvas icon because that's where I sent the designs over from Rachel's in Hertfordshire so are you in tier four Rachel 
Does it work on all scan and cuts? Yes, this, this foiling kit that I'm going to show you today that works with the glue pen works on the CM models and the SDX models. Amanda's saying no whales are in lockdown as of last night. Okay, I thought it was last night, to, to be honest, but then Boxing Day kind of sprang to my mind. Derbyshire is in tier three. Yeah, I, I'm in Derbyshire and I'm in tier three, but I'm North Derbyshire. So literally Cheshire is probably about four miles away, the border. And we're not that far from, you know, like Stockport and Greater Manchester. So it's just surrounding us. But anyway, let's let's go on. So this is a file that hopefully you should be able to see now. Justin saying I'm in Dorset, but I'm a vulnerable one rather be called special. <laughs> oh, no. oh dear. Um, right, so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm not, there's no way that I can foil all these in one go because... As, as you saw, I've only got those tiny little bits of um, foil sheets. Yep, tier four, so I'm being bar humbug. Bless you. Well, that's me. I've not even put my tree up and I've no intention of it. So we can be bar humbug together, Rachel. Right, I'm going to save this file. Um, to the machine just for now. And then I'm just going to attempt not enough available data to save. Oh, great. Okay. Why not? Let's go to the machine. I've not got that much saved. Let's go home, delete. Let's start again. We'll delete some of this stuff off. Got stuff on here that I don't need. So, um, see what I can get rid of that I, I don't need. Got all sorts of stuff on here. Get rid of these, don't need these on here. I just, whenever I've been doing projects, I've been saving stuff onto the machine that I don't actually really need anymore. So it's telling me I've not got enough space. So if we get rid of some of this, we'll see what happens. Right, let's go home, okay. So I'm gonna to go to retrieve data from Canvas. Save it again and see if it will save this time. Save it into the machine. thinking about it this time so hopefully it'll be okay okay so that's gone into the memory so let me just see what you're saying so Amanda Rowlands was saying it was going to be the 28th of December but they brought it forward stay safe everyone Michelle is saying all of Wales from last night Alison saying not in Ammonford okay Oh, we've got somebody new, Horsewoman 2000, US Colorado here. I am a stay at home person, mostly praying for you, UK. Happy holidays. Oh, well, same to you. All shops open here today. It's stay Alison saying, right, let's plod on. So I'm not sure how well you're going to see this, but on this mat, see if I can zoom in. As I say, I literally grabbed some of the text words from Canvas just before I popped out and sent them over to the machine. So we've got Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Congratulations, Invitation and Anniversary. So somebody choose one. Just have a quick drink of my juice. Um, I need a piece of card, so while I'm waiting, I'll grab a piece of card. I'll take the cover off my mat while I'm waiting for somebody to tell me what you want me to foil. Alison D saying, joining a bit late, sorry, stay safe to you all. You're welcome, Alison, hope you're okay. I'm just going to pop a piece of card onto my mat. Merry Christmas. Okay, 
Who said that? Charlotte. Right, so I'm going to get rid of everything else. So I'm just going to select one of the other words, go to edit, go to the three red boxes, choose the first box on the left, which lets me isolate what I want to delete. And because I've got this one selected up here, and then I've just highlighted this bottom section, if I now say OK, OK, I should be able to delete all those and leave the Merry Christmas. All those words, all your own fault. No, Christine, they're all in Canvas Workspace in the activation kit, which is part of this foiling kit. So when you buy the foiling kit, you get an activation card and it opens up some extra designs that you'll then find in Canvas and it opens up quite a lot of the words as well. Sue is saying, hi, I'm new to this stream. I am having an SDX 900 for Christmas, so trying to gen up on the scan. Okay, no problem, Sue, welcome. Okay, I'll go along with Christmas, tis the season. Okay, we've done, have, we're doing Happy Christmas now, so. <laughs> Just to say Merry Christmas forces into enjoying it. Hi, Caroline from British Columbia, Canada. Everyone have a safe and healthy Christmas and thank God 2020 is on the way out. Yeah, I agree with you, Alison. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that 2021 is better. Right, I'm going to try and remember how to do this now. So I'm going to load the mat into the machine. I'm just going to flip you back to my desk for one minute. So, basically what you have to do with this, this is like an adhesive pen, okay? So I'm going to take the lid off. This is the holder that comes with it. I'm going to drop, you, you push, it's got like a plunger on the front here. I'm going to push the plunger in, drop the pen in so that I can see the numbers because it's going to ask me what number the glue pen is set at in a bit. And if it's round the back, I'll have forgotten by the time I get to that bit. So I'm going to load it up with the pen and the numbers. Not sure how well you'll see it, but there are numbers on it. And I'm just going to push it into this holder until I hear it click into place. So did you hear that? And then I'm going to let go. So that now means that that pen is locked into that holder. So I'm going to flip you back to the machine. So Alison's got a question. Can you add words to those foiled words? I would think so. Yeah, I would think you can do. You could either do that in Canvas Workspace or you could just add words from the fonts that are in your machine. But these particular words that are with the activation kit, um, Alison, are very much like single stroke fonts. You know, we've spoken about single stroke fonts or single line fonts in the past for drawing. The, the A lot of the fonts that come with this activation kit are like single stroke fonts. So hopefully if this works, you'll see in a few minutes. So I'm going to take my blade out of my machine just try and turn you around a little bit. So I took my regular blade out. I'm going to pop the pen holder in and lock it into place. Then I'm just going to, don't want to make you sick, but I'm just going to flip you back to the machine. And where's my spatula? Right, so... In fact, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to take the pen out a minute and just clean the end of the nib with a tissue because it's a long time since I've used this pen and I just want to make sure that the let me flip you back and I'll show you what I'm doing um it's a long time since I've used this so I just want to make sure that the glue is going to start to flow and that it's not dried up because if it's dried up we won't be doing anything I think it's coming out but it's coming out quite slowly so I'm just gonna keep scribbling until I can see that glue is starting to come out and I 
think it is now. I'm not sure how well you'll see this. It's it, Can you see it's looking shiny? So that's the glue. So it looks as though it is working. So that's something. So I'm just going to lock it back into the holder. So I'm going to push the plunger in, drop the pen in and push it in till it makes that click sound. Then I'm just going to pop that back into the scan and cut machine and lock it into place where the blade would normally go. So now I'm going to say OK and I'm going to do a background scan because I've put a piece of white card on the mat and I just want to scan it through so that hopefully when I come to position the foil and the word, I'll know where I am. I'll do congratulations next. I've just seen somebody saying congratulations. Is that a word you want me to do or are you saying congratulations to somebody? Sorry. Right, so I'm just going to drag the Merry Christmas onto the top of this foil. Now, it looks quite big, so I'm going to go into Edit, Object Edit, because remember, I've only got these pieces of foil that are, what are they? They're only about four inches wide. So I'm going to go into the size icon and you can see here it's over six inches wide so I'm going to take the width down so I don't actually know how this is going to come out so we'll make it 3.75 which makes it about an inch and a quarter high I'm just going to position it up on this piece of paper I'm going to say okay 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 again select now i want to foil and it, it walks you through it here on the screen so the first process is the glue bit and that's with the pen so i'm going to say foil number one glue uh, change the setting for the cut area to 12 by 12 okay so let's go back oh i know i'm on my 12 by 24 mat i was playing around with the 12 by 12 24 mat the other day so i've changed it to 12 by 12 so I can see where it is. I've got the size hopefully still set. Let's just double check. Yeah, just under four inches. So we'll go through all the OKs again. Go to select and we'll choose foil. And this is where it asks you what the scale is on your pen. And on mine, I'm just into the number two. So you'll see the black number one highlighted here. I'm going to use the arrow and say, that I'm into the number two. I think it's so that it knows how much glue is in your pen. It needs to know that. So that's why I wanted to set the numbers facing me when I loaded the pen. So I'm just going to say OK. And I'm going to say Start. Now, let's try and bring you... So hopefully, if I've got the pen and the glue running enough, it should be drawing the greeting now using the glue. As I say, I've not used this since the last time I did the YouTube live with it, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that the glue's not dried up. Can just see a com oh Alison saying thank you so much Ashley for the card and the catalogue you're welcome Alison Barbara is saying good tip I wasted some foil as the glue wasn't running at first oh thanks Barbara yeah well I mean I don't know whether the glue is going to be running properly on this or not but it did seem to be coming out on the card but so we'll see we'll see how we get on what looks like glue so let me see if I can move you my 
looking on my screen to see if I can see what you can see. I don't want to touch that camera because if I try and tilt it, I might knock it off. Um, let's just see if I can do it a little bit without. Okay, tilted you down ever so slightly. So I've got my piece of foil. I'm just trying to see, fancy doing it on white card. That was clever, wasn't it? I think it might just about fit on this piece of foil. So literally, this is a, I think it's a piece of, I'm not sure if it's gold or bronze. So I've got my foil. So now I think from memory, we've got to place this plastic sheet over it and I've got some bits of washi tape here so we've clearly got to tape it down so I'm just going to tape this down in a couple of places so I'll do it on the top and I'll do it on one side and now from memory I've got to take the glue pen out and I've got to put that plastic bit in. So let's flip you back. I'm just going to take the glue pen out of here. So to get it out, you need to press this plunger. So you press it and pull it out. And I'm just going to put the lid on it because it's really warm in this room. So I don't want it to dry up. And then you get this little plastic bit. It's a bit like a plastic embossing tool. And then you just push that in the end as far as it'll go that's it nothing special and then this now goes back where the pen holder sorry where the blade holder normally goes so let's flip you back that just goes back in there and you lock it in you want me to do the word okay that's fine so now let's just flip you back to the screen so it's saying now finish gluing so I'm going to say okay I'm going to go to please select and then this time I'm going to go to foil and then it's telling you what to do you remove the glue pen and then it's telling you to put this plastic sheet down and tape it down and then you can read through the instructions if you want. And I'm going to say OK. And then if you can see all these blue lines here are over where my word was. So basically this holder now that's in the machine with this little plastic embossing nib, if you like, in the end, is basically going to go backwards and forwards over where all these blue lines are over this plastic sheet that I've placed on my mat over my embossing foil. So I'm going to say start and I'm just going to bring you back slowly. And can you see now it's just going to literally burnish over this plastic sheet. Now from memory, when we did it earlier on in the year, sometimes I can't remember whether I had to do this bit twice. So I'm going to let it finish and I'm going to, there you go, that's, that's done. So I'm just going to move you back a little bit. So what I'm going to do now, because I've got this on a hinge, I'm going to just lift up so that the plastic is still held in place on one side. And I'm just going to lift up the foil from a corner and see what it looks like. I mean, I think it looks okay, but I might just do it again, just to see. I'm not sure, we'll see. You can always go back and do it again. So I'm gonna bring, gonna go back to the machine. I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna go to select, back to foil, say, okay, and start. I think the glue, was clear. Basically when the glue goes on, it goes on blue and you have to wait for it to be completely clear before you put your foil on. So I think it was clear, but we'll see. Um, Rachel's saying, I think you did it twice. Okay, yeah. Ask, in the kind of back of my mind, you know when you kind of think something but you don't know whether you've made it up. 
Charlotte's saying, I think you did it twice as well. It gave better results. Okay, so let's flip us back. I'm going to say, okay, and unload the mat. And it's just asking me, have I finished? I'm just going to move my machine out of the way just to give me a little bit more room on my desk. So I'm going to peel the plastic sheet away and just put my washi tape just on the front. So can you all see? Let's see, I'll bring this down a bit. So I'm going to just peel up this foil now very gently and see. So there is my Merry Christmas. So I'm going to take it off the mat just to give me a little bit more room. Just going to move the mat out of the way. So let me just see if I can zoom you in a little bit more. Try and get you zoomed in as much. Ooh, that's a bit far, isn't it? There you go. So can you see that? So it's it's not too bad. And there was a plastic thing, wasn't there, that came with this. So can you see this? This came, this is like a bit of a silicone, thick, jelly-like sheet, basically. And I think that picks up any strays. So I don't want to remove too much. I think it looks okay so I'm just going to pop that back on there so there's my piece of foil so you can see where you can see through it where I'm, you can see the white through it it's taken all the foil from this sheet and obviously burnished it down over where the ink was so can you all see that? I'm trying to, I've zoomed in as much as I can. Can you see if I tilt it a little bit? Can you see the shine? That's the foil. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down where you can see it, hopefully. And then let me just see what you're saying. So, hi, JD Cougar. Boy, the foiling gives a lot of great instructions on the machine to help make it work properly. Never tried foiling except in school many comes ago. Just glue and foil, then no specific tools. No, it's, um, I think, they, do they call it cold? Cold foil? I think it's called or something like that that you need. So it's literally just basic foils and a glue pen. If you've got good handwriting, you could do this with your own handwriting. You could use you know, either the pen that you get with this brother kit or is it Secura? We've had this conversation before. In fact, I think I've got one. Hang on. Uh, I've got one. This is an old one. I don't know how well this is, this if this still works or not. But this is basically the similar principle. It's a quickie glue pen. It's got the glue in it that comes out blue and you wait for it to dry. So if you've got good handwriting, you could buy yourself one of these quickie glue pens and a pack of coloured foil, and you could just write your own greetings, wait for the glue to go clear, and then rub your foil on and just burnish it down yourself. But obviously the machine is giving it a certain level of pressure. Janet's saying, I'm disabled. My granddaughter usually decorates my tree and hasn't been able to this year. So I've got a tiny pre-lit tree, Ashley. You are the highlight of my Sunday. Oh, Janet, thank you. You're welcome. I did actually think about buying a pre-lit tree myself because our tree is huge. It's about eight foot tall. And um, I, just, I, did, I just didn't want to put it up. And I nearly caved in the other day and thought, should I just get a pre-lit little one and put that in a corner? But I'm not even doing that. Right, I'm missing loads of comments. So, Mikel saying that's nice. That's very nice and really crisp. Very nice. Oh my God, that's good. Much better results than what I had using the mint machine. Okay, nice and shiny. Can you cut that out now? You could do, yes. I don't know whether it would pick it up. I'll try it. That's awesome. I like to apply the glue 
then P10 boss, yeah, okay, looks really nice. Does that clicky pen fit in the regular pen holder? Don't know, let's have a look. Um, let's see. Let me just bring this scrap piece of card in from before. So which is which now? I think that's the universal pet. Let me zoom you out. You're too, too zoomed in now, aren't you? You can't see what I'm doing. Right, so these are my two pen holders. The one with the biggest hole, I think, is the universal pen holder. So let's see if it fits in there. Where's my cradle? Possibly, yeah, might need a little bit of tape on it. Yeah, it might do. Don't know whether it would stay in once the force of the machine got on it. This one's definitely, I think, all dried up though. I've had this one years. I don't even know why I keep it. Yeah, this one I think is definitely dried up. Can't get a lot of glue out of that one. Um, where's my lid? But you could try it if you've got the universal pen holder and you, you know, get one of these. They are made by Secura and it's just called a quickie glue pen. I used to use this, you know, when you stick on tiny little embellishments onto your cards, you used to put a dab of glue and then pop that on. That's why I've got it. But I mean, I've had it years. I'm not actually sure how much glue's left in it. So I think the answer to your question, Vicky, is it probably fits in the universal pen holder. I don't think it would fit in the... Let's see if it... Oh, it might go in the other one as well. Hang on. Let's try this one while, while we're here. Oh, it does. It fits in the... What do they call this one now? I can never remember. Is it the small barrel pen holder? Something like that. I think they call that one. So it will fit in either. Okay, so let's plod on with this for now. Could you, yeah, could you, right. I did a sheet of these and used the fill on the scan and cut to make the word solid. I think I did that last time, Barbara. I think I coloured a flower or something in from memory. Ashley, on my old machine, I use the quickie glue pen and you can use the same on the Disney machine. OK, so Karen's saying you can use the quickie glue pen. OK, quickie glue pens are not very, are not a very good continuous flow, Justine's saying. OK, right, let's put this back on the mat and see if it will pick it up as a scan. To see if we can cut round it. It, it probably won't, to be fair, because it's not joined and, but we'll see. I might, you know, you might have to join the letters together with a pencil, you know, doing that trick I've shown you how to do in the past. Let's go back to the machine. I want to do that other word for, was it Patty that asked for it before? I'm going to take out the pen holder and put, just pop my blade in for now just to see, I'm going to hit the home button, let's just try moving it up, I've moved my machine now so let's go to scan and let's go to direct cut to the machine and start, it's telling me to move the lever and we'll just see if it picks this up, I don't you need to swap you back to the to the machine, don't I? So Rachel said, apparently you can take the inside of the brother glue pen and replace the quickie glue pen, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. I know what you mean. Take the barrel with the glue out of the quickie and put it into the uh, brother one. Yeah, I know what you mean. Saw a video of a woman using a light box and then trace stencil with glue pen and use foil and glitter. Yeah, okay. Right, let's just see if it will pick this up. I'm not sure whether it will or not with it being two separate words, but we'll see. Let's just isolate it. It's trying to pick up something. I'm going to say preview. I'm going to say okay. 
and I'm going to say I want an outline around it because I don't want it to pick up all the individual letters. Let's put an outline distance and see. It's trying to pick it up. I'm going to say, let's see if we can go with um, a free shape. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's see what it gets. I'm going to go back and zoom in. It's actually trying to pick up the individual foil letters. So the answer to the question is yes, you probably can. I don't particularly want it to choose all the, all the letters though. I'm going to make the offset bigger and see if I can get so I'm gone, I've gone to 0 0.08. Um, I'm going to do it again because I've just deleted it by mistake. So let's just do direct cut and see what happens. Alison's saying I get them from Craft Stash. Oh, the Quickie Glue pens. Right, drag these in again, isolate the foil word, say preview, okay, let's do the first offset, sorry, the first outline shape, and I'm going to take the offset up bigger, so it's still trying to do a funny little thing in the middle. Right, let's take it back down to eight and say OK. Then edit. Uh, no, I don't want to edit. OK. Let's just try it and see what happens. I've got the blade in. I'm going to say cut because I want to go on to another word. I, I, it's more about the foiling than the cutting, this, this one, but... So let's just see, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what it cuts out. But what you could do, you could use the trick I showed earlier on in the year and you could do scan to cut data, put the outline around it, save it, then go back and weld it. And then that will give you one complete outline around both words. I think this is going to cut out like the two lines of word, if that makes sense. I'm not actually sure what we're going to get here. It might just end up in cut bits. But I want to do another foil word, so we'll just see what happens. It's doing some other strange cut, so it's cutting. Yeah, it's kind of chopped into it. I'll flip it back and I'll unload the mat and I'll show you what it's done because I couldn't actually see it properly. So if I take that away, so what it's done, it's tried to cut round the word Mary, the foil word, and then it's tried to cut round the Christmas, but it's actually cut the I out completely. So, I think what you'd probably need to do is, as I say, do that trick I showed earlier on in the year. If you're going to foil and then try and cut your word out, I think it will, it, obviously it depends as well on how close your words, your letters are together. And it, in this particular instance, you've got two rows of words. So it depends how close your two rows of, rows of words are as well. But there's no reason why you couldn't use scan to cut data, scan it, apply the offset, save it, don't unload your mat, and then call the design back up and you should be able to go into the object edit and weld the two, like these two outlines together, which will then give you one outline and it would then, then cut round the whole thing, if that makes sense. Okay, so... I'm going to use a different piece of card because this white isn't easy to see. 
So let's just grab another piece of card, some scrap card that I've, I've grabbed over. Um, close the lines with a pencil. Yeah, you can close the lines with a pencil. That's another trick. That's what I mean. You could do that. But th this is more about the foiling than, than the, the cutting really tonight. Thank you for trying. Would it work to weld the letters all together before assigning the outline? No, because the, le the letters don't overlap, I don't think. Actually, they do. So, yeah, it might do. Yeah, you could try it. Right, let's... I'm going to choose a piece of some scrap, scrap pink. Let me just clear the bits off my mat. And then I'm going to call the files back up that I saved at the beginning with those other words in. So I'm just going to pop this piece of pink on here, take the blade out of the machine, and then I'm going to pop the, I'm going to use the end of the pen to pop this plastic bit out and just pop that on one side, and then again, Press the plunger in, drop the pen in so I can see the numbers and wait for the clip and then pop it back into the machine and then we'll go back to that file from the beginning and we'll choose the word for, was it Barbara or Patty that asked for it earlier on? So let's go back to the saved. So I'm going to go to retrieve data from the machine because that's where I saved it at the beginning. Jump to the last page and here's all the words. So you wanted congratulations, didn't you? So I'm going to say OK. Move these out there. I'm just going to bring congratulations up to the top and then just choose one of the other words. Then I'm going to say edit, go to the red boxes, choose the first one, isolate all these words down here, say OK, OK, and just send them all to the bin. So now I've only got the congratulations, so I'm going to say OK and do a background step, scan and start. And then we'll find another bit of foil. Like I say, I've done, I have, you know, I've covered this earlier on in the year. But it was Justin that wanted me to show it again. So I said that I would try and cover it tonight. So where's my spatula? No, not my spatula, my stylus. Right, so I'm going to bring congratulations onto this piece of pink card. And again, I'm going to go into edit and see how big it is. Object, edit and into the size. So this is like nearly six inches wide again. So I'm going to take it down because I've only got those small pieces of foil. I'm just going to bring it down. I'm going to say OK, OK, OK again. Select and choose the foil, uh, the glue, sorry. And I'm still in number two. So I'm going to click on the arrow to get number two selected. I'm going to say OK and start and let it, now it wants me to move the lever back and say okay and start and let it do its gluing and then if there's any, any comments or anything that I'm missing I can try, let me just move you back a bit so you can see the glue pen just bobbing up and down. Hi Anita, hope you're well. Um, hi Ashley, late again, but we'll watch later. Love the foiling. I cheat, choose a shape, fit it round the words and cut it out. Yeah, you can do that. So I've just got some, as I say, I've got these stray bits of foil. Let's use a blue because it's a bit darker and it might show up better on this pink card. So I'm just going to grab a piece of the blue out. You can tell I don't really do a lot of foiling because, like I say, I've not used this kit since I did the live earlier on in the year. 
Right, now I'm not sure how well, you're probably not going to see this at all, but basically the glue is, I'm not, I don't want to keep moving you back because it'll make you sick, the glue is showing as, as still being blue on this pink piece of card. What happens if you use two pieces of foil slightly overlapping? Nothing you can overlap the foil, I think. I'm just being lazy. It was you, Barbara. Right, okay. So I'm just going to wait for this glue to go clear. It's still showing as being blue in parts at the moment. So I'm just giving it a waft with a bit of card. You just, as I say, it goes on blue and you just wait for it to go clear so it's not showing as blue, in, blue anymore. Just not the camera then, sorry. So let me just try and see if I can angle you down without knocking the camera off. So there's the piece of pink card and you're probably not going to see it but the glue is on there. So I've got a piece of blue foil now. Just want to pop it over. Then I need to bring in my piece of plastic again and stick this down to the mat. Okay. Just going to flip you back. So I'm going to take the glue pen out of the holder and just put the lid back on it. And then you get this little plastic embossing thing again and you just pop that in the end. That's it. And then that just goes back into the machine now where the blade goes. So I'm going to pop that back in. Right, I'm going to move you back to the screen. Okay, I'm going to say okay, select, and this time I'm going to choose foil. Don't need to read all these instructions again, so I'm just going to say okay. And again, you can see the dark blue heavy lines. That's where the embossing nib, if you like, is going to be burnishing over. So if I say start, and you'll just see it going backwards and forwards. just going to have a quick look at it and see how it looks just with one pass and I think I'm just going to do one pass on this one and we'll see if there's any difference so I'm going to flip you back to my desk I'm going to say yes I've finished foiling and I'm going to unload the mat I'm just going to push my scan and cut machine out of the way I've got stuff all over my desk again I'm going to bring off my washi tape and just stick it onto this piece of plastic. And obviously this is where I left it last time I used it, because when I pulled it out before, that's where it was. <laughs> so let's just lift that up, move that out of the way, and then we'll lift up the foil and reveal the words. So this one's not quite as good, but I think what it was, I was when I was looking at it, when I said you have to wait for the glue to go clear, this font has got like dots on the end, you know, of the letters. Let me zoom you in a little bit. And I could see that the dots were still wet. I'm going to remove this off the mat just to get the mat out of the way. And try and zoom you in a bit more. Okay, so can you see on the ends of the N and on the R and the A's, there's all these dots and it's kind of on the end of each of the letters. So when I was wafting the glue to dry, I could see that there was still a concentration of glue in some of these places. 
So obviously the minute you then go to put your foil on top, it's literally going to grab onto that, you know, those gluey areas. But it looks okay. See if we can bring it a bit nearer. Don't know how well you'll see. If I angle it, can you see the shine on the foil? So, you know, it does, it does work. The foiling kit does work. Right, let's see. So Barbara saying was me. McKelly saying pretty, shiny, lovely font. Love the colour too. So this font reminds me of a font that I have on my computer that I got from defont.com and it's called Grandma's Garden from memory. And Grandma's Garden has these like dots, I think, on the end of it. It's a lovely font and it's nice to draw with, with your scan and cut machine. And that, that's what this font reminds me of. So Terry's saying, can the foil be used on cork or fabric or just on paper? Right, so this, let me try and, I don't, let me see if I've got the, this foil was from eBay that I'm using. And I, I don't know if, or was it from eBay? I can't remember. I did tell you where I got this from when I, when I did the live last time. Um, I don't know if I've got, let me have a look in the folder where I've kept it. Here we go, I've got the, the thing for it. So it's, it's by Sticks 2, this particular one I'm using. It says it's permanent, it's hobby craft, card making and scrap, it's from the, that hobby craft, hobby craft, card making and scrapbooking range shiny transfer foil two sheets of red blue green silver and gold so 10 in total it says for beginners and advanced crafters alike can be used to decorate all kinds of adhesive including pva double-sided tape ultra clear double-sided poly, poly polyester sheets and tapes double-sided a4 sheets punch sheets micro dots hot melt glue and craft dots. Apply the dull side to the adhesive surface. Apply, uh, make sure it's free from dust. It doesn't say what you can use it on, but I'm guessing probably only paper craft. Um, trying to see if it, it doesn't say anything else. Just as recommendations are for, gu for guidance only, as conditions of use are beyond our control. So it's just shiny transfer foil permanent sheets. You can get it in big sheets, I think, but at the time when I got this kit, as I say, I only had, you know, what came with the brother kit. The, the, I think it was one sheet of gold and one sheet of silver from memory. And because I wanted to show it in a live, I um, I literally just went onto the internet. I think I got it from eBay, I can't remember. So I just got what I could get, but obviously this is the folder I've kept with all the bits in. So that's a design that I did last time. That butterfly must be on the activation kit. Vicky saying you can put the foil on anything that glue will stick to. I've done it on a t-shirt. Okay, so will this, is this glue washable then Vicky so if you put it on a t-shirt and washed it would it stay on so let's see what we've got so there's the anniversary word that I drew and obviously I cut out there's a butterfly these were all from last time uh, that's a happy birthday that doesn't look that great but it you know it's done there was some blue foil I did on a flower shape. That's the happy birthday done. I think that's its full size, but you could shrink it down. Not sure how well you'll see that. It's got a heart on it. Baby, that's another word. And then this was one of the Mickey Mouses I did. So I added an inset line 
and I used a white foil on that. And that was one of the cards I must have made. So this, you know, obviously I've just kept them all in this folder because this is where I kept all the foiling stuff. So I knew today when I was going to try the foiling kit again, I knew where this was with this in it. And I've obviously just kept everything together. <clears throat> So let's just see what Vicky's saying. Amanda's saying, me too, Anita. Thanks for checking, Ashley. Good to know, Vicky. Thanks. So yeah, I'm just curious to find out if this is, if this glue is washable. Right, I'm going to zoom you back out of it because you like really zoomed in now. So does anybody else want to, does anybody want to see anything else? Are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Everything's looking okay. I'm just have a quick drink of my juice. Um, Justine's, I've missed loads of comments, aren't I? Hi, Ashley, it's Lynn. Sorry, I'm late, just finished dinner. Hi, Lynn, hope you're okay. Cherie's saying, yes, you said eBay because you bought the same, okay. I forget, I can't remember something that happened this morning, to be honest. Alison's saying, aren't we lucky to have professional equipment in our homes and professional help and tips on live video too from Ashley? Are oh, you welcome? Yeah, we've got these things. And, you know, obviously I don't do a lot of foiling, but if there was a particular time that I wanted to do some, at least I've got the kit and I can do it. Justine saying, Grandma's Garden, what a lovely name. Just took me back to my Nan's Garden in my younger years. It's a lovely font as well. Go and have a look for it on the font. I'm sure it's called Grandma's Garden. Or, or in fact, it definitely is called Grandma's Garden because it's one of my favourite fonts, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's got these kind of dots on the end of the letters. And that's what this reminds me of. Yes, I bought some after watching you use the foil from eBay. Okay, so it was eBay. I thought it was. I tend to look there first, to be honest, for most things. JD Coog is saying, agree, Alison, we are so very lucky. Vicky's, yeah, I got the, the comment from Vicky. Right, let me come back. I need to, right, okay, so Vicky's saying there was a long list of different glues on your foil package. Some of those will stay through the wash. Okay, of course they won't all work with a scan and cut, but there are lots of ways to make the glue design. Yeah, okay, Rivian. So, you, so what you're saying is that a lot of these glues that I mentioned that's on the back of this packaging, you think might be durable enough to put on fabrics. Okay, but I suppose it kind of goes back to what I said earlier with the Secura gl uh, Quickie Glue Pen. If your handwriting's nice, there's no reason why if you, if you could find a glue that is washable, you could, you know, draw on your own projects and use foils and then, you know, see, see how they hold up. So Vicky's saying it would be interesting to try the Scan and Cut glue on quilt fabric and then wash it and see if it stays. Okay, well, if I get some time, I'll try it, Vicky. Grandma's Garden is not available anymore. You have to buy it from another site. Really? Hmm. Well, I've, I, mind you, I've had it. I've had it ages. What a shame. Barbara's saying, really enjoyed having another run through of using the foil option. Thank you, Ashley. You're welcome. There is one called Curls that is similar. I think I've had that as well in the past, but Grandma's Garden is definitely my favourite. I'm surprised it's not available anymore. Wow. Okay, right. Has anybody got any last minute questions or suggestions or anything that they want to mention? Or And I, just while I remember, being as though it's Sunday today and this time next week will be past Christmas, won't we? So I want to say happy Christmas to everybody and I hope that whatever you're doing, you know, whoever you're spending it with if it's by yourself or you know with a a bubble if you're in a bubble or whatever it is I hope you all have a lovely time C 
Susan's saying thank you Ashley have a good Christmas everyone yeah same to you Lisa's saying thank you Ashley I always learn something from you Rachel's saying stay safe everyone and to those who can't be with their loved ones my heart goes out to you all yeah same Rachel I totally agree So does anybody, cons Lynn say Merry Christmas, Lynn what did you think of Strictly last night while, while you're here, our dancing expert, what about the glue that you can use on fabric, um, yeah you could try it, Patty say Merry Christmas to you Ashley and to everyone watching, Rachel saying are you glad Bill won last night, Cherie saying same to you. Happy holidays, Lisa. Same. Wishing everyone a healthy and happy and safe Christmas. Merry Christmas. Don't forget the thumbs up for Ashley. Vicky's saying, oh, thank you. When is your next live? Well, that was what I was just going to ask you. Do you want me to do a live next Sunday, which will be the Sunday in between Christmas and New Year? If you do, has anybody got any suggestions? I'm going to have a look on Canvas, I think, and see what's on there. Cherie saying I became an adopted grandmother yesterday. Oh, Cherie, wow. Congratulations. Ellen saying yes and Merry Christmas to you, Ashley, and everyone. So it's a good Christmas with a new baby. That's lovely, Cherie. Merry Christmas to everyone. Stay safe, please. Alison's saying, Charmaine saying, thank you. Have a blessed Christmas. Yes, same to you, Charmaine. Amanda, thank you, Ashley. Wish you a very Merry Christmas too. Got to go now, so wishing everyone a really great Christmas and New Year. Got to keep positive for 2021. Yeah, definitely. I downloaded Grandma's Garden from Dafont quite recently, Philip is saying. Okay. Rachel's saying she's glad that Bill won. Merry Christmas, Ashley, and everyone stay safe. Yes, same to you, Anita. Thank you. Just search for it on Dafont. Okay, I'll have a look later. My winner by a mile was Harvey, closely followed by Maisie and Bill OK for an oldie, but not in the same league, I'm afraid. Yeah, I kind of thought that. I did think that the two youngsters did really well. Amanda's saying she wanted Harvey to win, but to be honest, they were all fab. I think it was pretty close, wasn't it, between Harvey and Maisie. Bill was my winner throughout, Alison's saying. Best wishes to you all and your families for a wonderful holiday season. Safe, Stay safe. Blessings to all. JD Cougar saying. Karen saying Merry Xmas everyone. And I can say maybe a better 2021. Yeah, fingers crossed for that, Karen. Have a rest, Ashley. You deserve it. Vicky's saying since the scan and cut glue is blue, it is probably the same as the Zig. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Yes, we would miss you, <laughs> Nita's saying. Merry Christmas. Yes, next Sunday, please. Oh, I love to see vinyl in action. Okay, well, I've done vinyl recently, but could always do it again if you want. Um, I'm keen to see what you do with vinyl and the Easy Press. Yeah, I don't, if it comes, I'll try and do something next week with that, but I don't know, you know, with it being Christmas, how, how quickly it will come. So Cherie's saying, sorry, the font is there. Leave off the apostrophe. OK, so it is there. So go and have a look at Grandma's Garden, everybody, and try it with your scan and cut pens, because I've tried it with the pens and it, from memory, it, it draws nice. So give that one a go. Alison's saying font is on the font. Yeah. I've just gone to the font and found Grandma's Garden. OK, so you're all finding it now. That's brilliant. Okay, right, I can't see any other suggestions other than maybe the vinyl and the heat press. So if it comes in time and I'm brave enough, maybe we'll give that a go. But as I say, I literally just ordered it before I went live tonight. So I've no idea if it's going to come in time or not. Thanks for your time, Ashley. Hope you and Hannah have a good time together. Oh, thank you, Rachel. That's lovely. Um, right, so if anybody has got any suggestions for next week, let me know quickly. If not, I'll see 
I did see a, I did see something actually in canvas so maybe it might be something from canvas which I can't remember but that might have included foiling mm, not sure we'll see or any other suggestions can you download the font Justine if you're asking can you download the font onto the computer grandma's garden yes you can onto a Mac yes and it'll just install in your font folder and then open Canvas Workspace for computer and then all the fonts that are on your installed on your computer will show up in Canvas Workspace for computer and you can use it and send it over to your machine. <laughs> Lynn's saying, can't put you on the big screen tonight, stuck with Man United match. Phew, good. <laughs> Sally's saying have a Merry Christmas everyone and stay safe. Mikel is saying embossing pens, would they work to prep for heat embossing? Uh, yes, I think they would, yes. Yeah, draw, draw something, throw some heat embossing on it and, and heat it, I think. I'll, in fact, if I, if I get time this week, Mikel, I'll try that and see. And then maybe we'll have a play with that next week you know try and utilize what we've got but in another way Alice is saying hi Ashley Merry Christmas to you and everyone watching just got on doesn't matter Alice I've nearly finished now but hopefully it's recorded it looks as though it's still all recording so you should be able to watch it Charlotte's saying thanks Ashley and all hope we have hope hope we all have a great holiday season and a better new year yeah one of your creations on Canvas Workspace would be great, Rachel saying. Rhinestone kit. Okay, yeah, not I've done the rhinestone kit, but it was a long time ago. Okay. Good suggestions, everyone. What are embossing pens? Okay, well, Vicky, the only embossing kind of pen I know is you know when you use a stamp and we use like Versamark which is like a clear embossing and then we throw um, embossing powder on it and we heat it with a heat gun. Well, you can get a pen that's the same as the Versamark so you could draw with it and then you could throw embossing powder on it. But I think what, what um, was it Mikel? I think what Mikel, Mikel was saying was could we use this glue pen but use it with embossing powder. If I read the comment right, they're flashing up that quick. I can't, I can't read them all and see them all quickly enough. Charlotte's saying erasable pens make a nice thin line that are embossable. Okay. Alice is saying I bought a die cut Gemini machine to also learn in COVID has me trying everything. Good for you, Alice. Ellen is saying, Ashley, do you know if the fonts in Inkscape are the same fonts in the computer? Uh, well, Inkscape, I think, uses the fonts that are in your computer. I've not got Inkscape anymore. It, it, um, it did an update several years ago and it messed up my Mac. So when I got my new Mac, I decided not to put it on. So I don't use Inkscape anymore. But from memory, Ellen, when you open up Inkscape, the fonts that pull through in Inkscape are the fonts, the fonts that are on your computer. So if you get Grandma's Garden, for instance, from Defont and load it onto your computer and then go to Inkscape, it should pull it through. Um... You can use a glue pen. Happy Christmas to you, Ashley and your family. Janet's saying, Rachel's saying for embossing, use a glue pen, do the same. Okay. Wouldn't the heat for the embossing powder melt the glue? I don't know. We'll try it. I'll try it and see if I can this week. I'll try drawing maybe a shape from the machine with this glue pen and then see what happens. So Vicky's saying, ah, oh, okay, that would be interesting to try would you have to get the powder on while the glue is wet? I think you would, Vicky, yes. I'll try and give it a go, Vicky, this week, if I can. I'll just have a play about with maybe drawing some shapes with the Brother glue pen and then seeing what happens. Um, Alison's saying yes for heat embossing. I have them. Cherie saying, I use a Versamark pen 
or a toner pen, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've used a Versamark pen before and, you know, drawn freehand with it and then used embossing powder and heat set it with a heat gun. But unless I misread the question because they're flashing up that quick, I thought, I thought he was asking me, can we use this glue pen and use embossing powder? But maybe I've got that wrong, but I'll try it anyway. Justine saying, I'm off now, need the little girl's room before I burst. Yeah, take care, Justine. Merry Christmas, everyone. Stay safe, Justine saying. Right, I'm going to go now. So you've given me some suggestions anyway, and I'll see what I can come up with. And you want me to come on next Sunday, so we'll go for Sunday again at five o'clock as normal. So I'm going to say, so at what, I've just seen a comment now from Alice. I'm going to buy the vinyl kit. Okay. If you have time, could you try Versamark pen too? I don't think I've got a Versamark pen now, Mikel. I've got a Versamark ink pad, but I've not got a pen, I don't think. I think it dried up and I got rid of it, but I'll have a look. Um, yes, I have tried the Versa pens and they are good, but we'll try the glue pen, I need to say. And right, okay, and I'll try the glue pen as well if I get time. And then I'll see what I can come up with for next week. Or it might be the rhinestone kit. I'm going to have to make a note of all these suggestions and see what we can come up with for next week. So I'm going to say goodbye. Stay safe. Have a lovely Christmas, whatever you're doing or holidays or whatever it is you're celebrating. And hopefully I'll talk.